Well, hey friends, welcome back to Waterview Mountain. Maybe you can tell, maybe you can't tell, but we're back at the mountain, so you know it's going to be a great day. Absolutely beautiful this morning. It's probably 75, 80 degrees, sun's shining. It's a, uh, it's a glorious day. God is good and has been treating us well. So uh, today, another tailgate review. You can probably guess what it's going to be, but we're going to unbox this bad boy, see if we can get it hooked up to the camper, and uh, yeah, we'll just do a little quick review, a little unboxing, and, and uh, call it a day. So thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. We're glad you're here. Always blessed to have you along on the journey. Uh, enough of me rambling. Get yourself something to drink. It's water for me this morning because I'm already sweating. So uh, get yourself something to drink and uh, let's get to busy. So as you may have heard me mention in the past, we're right here beside the camper. Uh, the camper has only one power source. Well, really two, I suppose. It's got a battery, a uh, 12 volt battery that's on there. Uh, and then it also, we, we, when we come up, we run the generator. Uh, we, yeah, it's a quiet generator, uh, inverter, and it does well. It, it powers everything, the refrigerator, the air conditioner, it runs all that stuff. However, we're stuck listening to the generator all night. Now, yeah, I could build a box and do all that stuff. Um, but since we're eventually gonna be off grid here anyhow with the mini cabin, I figured, well, why not? Let's experiment with this 100 watt solar panel system. So it's the Thunderbolt Magnum. It's the entire system uh, that we need. So it's got a charge controller. It's got all the cables. It's got uh, 100 watt worth of panels and it's got a little stand to help hold it up. So I figured, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's hook this thing up to the camper, see if we can charge it while we're not here so that maybe we don't have to use the generator quite as much. So like I said, it's got the whole kit the difference between this and a lot of other kits is these are amorphous uh, silicone solar cells. So they'll work when they're partially shaded and they'll work in full sun, obviously. Unlike uh, uh, monocrystallines, if they're covered, they're not going to work. So a great person to check out, Will Prowse. Uh, he, he does great reviews on all this kind of stuff. I'm not going to be anywhere near that technical. We're literally going to unbox this thing, uh, test a couple things to see how much power is coming through see how much power we have in the battery right now, uh, and then hook it up and see what happens. So let me get it unboxed and uh, let's see what we got in the box. So pretty basic kit. Uh, we got four of these solar panels. Well, look at that one's already picking up the sun right there. Little blue lights on and <laughs> it's not even a third in the shade. So four solar panels, 25 watts each. Uh, they each have a little kickstand on the back, which we'll talk about here in a second. We're, we're gonna set those up. Uh, and a, a decent, I don't know how long this is, maybe a 10 foot uh, wire coming off of each solar panel. So you have that. Then you have the splitter <clears throat> that this is gonna connect to all four solar panels uh, into that wire. Uh, and then the end of this wire will go into our charge controller here. Now I got it, this is not uh, a midnight solar or anything like that, great charge controller, but it's, uh, it's still good enough for what we're trying to do. Uh, Pretty clearly marked, solar panels in, battery. If we do the little light thing, it's right there. If you want some DC output, uh, solar input there too. So, And then it's got some little USB thing, so if you want to charge your phone or anything like that, you can do that too. So that's kind of neat. Um, another little uh, extension cable, and then our connection for, for a battery. So that makes it nice. I don't have to unscrew and rescrew the, the, uh, the terminals on the battery every time that I come to set this up, I can just hook these alligator clamps on there. And then of course we have the, uh, the hardware for uh, connecting the four solar panels together. So uh, yeah, that's it, that's the whole kit. So uh, let's move over here where I think I'm gonna put these solar panels in the sun and uh, get these four bad boys connected together and see how easy that is. So they make this just about toolless. So got a little scroll here. It's a Phillips head screw. I'm gonna drop it in the front here, and then this little bracket is just gonna hold these two panels together, like so, but on the back side. So let me go ahead and get these together, then I'll move the camera around, I'll show you what it looks like after I get them put together. How's that sound? Well, we gotta do the bottom too, so I figured I'd move you on over so you could just see from here.
Well, of course, me and these batteries are going to fight today, but that's okay. So as you see, all the bottom ones are secured now as well. Uh, just finger tight. I just used the screwdriver to, to hold that screw so I could finger tighten it. So now we're going to flip these back up, face them south. We'll talk about that a little bit, and we'll get these wires hooked up and get it run over to the camper. So before we hook all these together, which we're going to do, let's, let's test and see how many watts this is putting it out, right? So I got this little cheapo uh, voltmeter. Uh, I go to DC volts. And then I'm just going to take my ends and put it right in here. Let's see if I can do this and show you at the same time. So 22.6. So not terrible. Not the 25 watts that they say they're going to put out. Uh, 22.6. Now, of course, I could adjust that uh, based on the angle. And there's plenty of websites you can go to. Just look online because... Uh, obviously you want them facing south and then depending on your uh, which one is it latitude I think or longitude you have to look it up I should I should know this before I tell you but you then you have to base then you have to adjust the angle based on that so if we adjust the angle it might help us uh, get that last what 2.4 percent uh, or 2.4 watts uh, but at this point I'm just trying to get it hooked up and then we'll tweak it later and see if we can maximize our output from these panels so uh, yeah, let me grab the, uh, the the splicer cable. We'll connect all these together and get it hooked up to the battery. So actually, <laughs> now that I pulled out the instructions, you can see here uh, they, they actually include it in the instructions with this little kit. Uh, so it says angle face the solar panel frame towards true south. Um, and based on your latitude, if it's 0 to 4 degrees, 5 to 20 degrees, uh, then you add 5 or 10 uh, 15, 80 degrees, whatever, to, to your uh, uh, to your solar panels. So, there you go. I had to correct myself because it was bothering me that I couldn't remember if it was latitude or longitude. But there you go. Based on your latitude, that's how you angle your, your panels. Let's finish hooking this up. And as you can see, I forgot to mention this earlier. These are not MC4 connectors. Uh, typically, from what I've seen, I've, I've never done solar panels before. Uh, just what I've seen online is when you get the monocrystalline or the bigger say 200 300 watt solar panels from other name brands they're going to have those mc4 connectors uh, i imagine you could just cut these splice them and put mc4 connectors on here if you want to put these in series or in parallel with those uh, however this is what it came with so this is what i'm going to use so it, it's self-explanatory that plugs right into there and now this wire in my right hand this is the, the splitter that connects all four of those panels together I'm going to take the charge controller now uh, and I'm going to hook it to the battery and we're just going to hook it here and let's see what we got. So 12.8 volts is what it says we have on the charge on the battery. I don't know if that's enough to start charging or not, um, but uh, let's, uh, let's plug this bad boy in and see what happens. Oh, just a regular little plug. That makes it kind of nice too for your solar input. And it says right there, solar input. So now you can see, so that's, that's arrows going up and down. So that means we're, we're charging. And we're at 13.8 volts, which is what we're shooting for. Let me read some more instructions, I'll get back to you. When you get this, go through here. There's another video. I'll see if I can find it and I'll link it. The lady gave an excellent uh, uh, description uh, of, of what all this stuff means. Um, so normal boost float. Your battery's too low to charge. Ours obviously is good. Uh, and then minimum battery voltage where normal charging can resume. Uh, we're, in a, we're in a good spot right now where we're charging. Um, but as you can see, you can go and you can change your battery type. So we have a sealed... Uh, lead acid battery uh, or a sealed battery so I need to go into the user setting and change that um, and then the rest of it is just cycling through to figure out the uh, uh, how long it's going to take to to charge your battery so let me uh, let me play with that I'll see if I can figure this out real quick and we can talk through it so it says when we're in normal mode then we're going to press and hold the display button. We're going to press and hold. There you go. 
and now it says user I hope you can see that there and then we're gonna press and hold that button again till it starts blinking there you go and then we can toggle up and down so there's the sealed there's the flooded and there's gel so I'm gonna go back up to sealed I'm gonna hold the display button again and then that locks it in place um, so there you go press and hold display button so we're gonna get out of there so that's temperature ratio minus four and then that says 15 hours is how long it's gonna take to charge so let's uh, let me go grab something to eat real quick get some more water we'll come back and in a couple hours it's I don't know it's I think it's about noon right now 1130 uh, we'll give this till the end of the afternoon we'll come back we'll shoot some more footage and and uh, see what we've done in just a few hours after some researching, a little more reading, I think I finally got this thing figured out here. So let's take a look. All right, so we talked about before, this is called your load button on the top, and this is your display button on the bottom. So first, let's talk about the load button. Okay, so here, when you first plug it up, <clears throat> this is what you're gonna see. Uh, it's got, shows the solar panels. Now, I'm 99% sure that that blinking arrow means that it's filling up the battery. Other people I've seen, the battery's actually filling up. Um, for whatever reason, we're not doing that. I just got a blinking arrow. So I checked the battery right here to see. It's been about two hours, and we've gone from 12.6 up to 13.1. So I know it's charging the battery, so I'm going to make the assumption that that's what that little arrow means. It doesn't ever really explain it, okay? Um, and that's our, our target charging voltage is 3.8 3.9 okay so that's where we're at and then another arrow goes over to the output so here's our outputs if we the, this kit comes with some little lights uh, or whatever you want to put on there uh, that's where you would plug those in and that's telling you that arrow is telling you that you have something going to the output so if we uh, toggle the load button again now you see that arrow right there is gone so that means there's nothing going out to uh, lights or whatever everything's going from the solar panels to the battery to charge the battery now if you hit this button the below button that has this circular triangle now this is what they call boost so this is a maximum charging output voltage to finish charging the battery so as you can see now no blinking arrow there uh, but we do have uh, almost full battery there so this just sends everything straight to the battery and it's shooting for that 14.4 volts so if you're in a hurry uh, you think you're gonna have limited Sun or or whatever for that day this would probably be the move right here and we'll come back to that in a minute so then you hit the display button again 13.8 volts is our float so once we hit 13.8 volts it, that's where it's going to float so that kind of goes into almost a, like a trickle charge if you will where once it it if we go back right and it's shooting for that 14.4 but once it hits 13.8 it's going to do a float charge and it's just going to maintain that charge voltage right there uh, and just slowly work it up instead of power it in there hit it one more time this is telling us that 10.8 volts is the battery voltage is too low to charge without damaging the battery so that's a preset all these are preset from the factory so if that gets down to 10.8 volts it's telling me it's it's not going to charge the battery we got a dead battery and it's not charging anything you got to get it uh, uh, more charged some other way without the solar panels and then the last one is the recovery this is telling us that the minimum minimum battery voltage where normal charging can resume so 12.6 is the minimum where these solar panels will start resuming uh, normal charge so that's where you're at so we're back to the beginning that's just the the normal it's just normally kind of slow rolling floating it on up it's it says we're at 13.8 they hit that like I said we go to the lights not the lights right there we're gonna go we're gonna leave it on that boost for now uh, so that it tries to get it up to 14.4 and then once it gets into float it'll automatically kick over to this screen by itself and let you know that it's floating um, which we should be pretty close to that 
because if you look on this one, it says 13.8. I don't think that's real accurate uh, because I, I checked the uh, uh, battery just before I started filming this and we were like 13.2. So even though the sun's out and we're really kicking right now, I don't think we're quite there. So there's a step-by-step -step on the controllers. Now, of course, um, when you switch it over to this, you can use these USB outlets or you can use these outlets, um, uh, whichever you prefer. Uh, but we're going to keep it there. Like I said, here's if you want to add additional solar panels and you want another output, you can do that there as well. Um, you can also go in, we had talked about earlier, uh, changing some of the settings, or you can change all of these settings for the most part. If you want to decrease or increase your maximums or minimums, uh, you can do that. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm not smart enough to figure all that stuff out yet. So I'm going to leave the presets where they are. I'm going to let this thing, I'm going to actually, I'm going to go over to this. To the, uh, to the boost, and we're gonna let it charge for a couple more hours. It's, as you can see, a nice, bright, sunny day, and uh, let's see if we can't get us up to that 14.4. Uh, well, it's been about five hours now, and we're bouncing about 13.5, 13.6, so we're getting there, slowly but surely. Again, it's, it's only a 100 watt uh, solar panel system, so I didn't expect it to just fill that battery all the way up. I have to mention also there's no load on that battery right now. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to run that in through the, uh, the, the circuit breaker on the camper. Uh, I'm just not that smart and it's simple enough just to put those on and then I'll take those off uh, tonight when I fire up the generator so that I don't burn up that uh, charge controller. Uh, because it's, I don't think it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to be able to figure that out if I send another charge in from the battery. Uh, out through it so make sure you do that if you're doing it this way make sure you disconnect those at night uh, and then when I leave I'll just hook it back up let it charge the battery until the next time we come so uh, yeah so there it is the uh, the Harbor Freight 100 watt Thunderbolt Magnum solar panel kit super easy to set up I mean uh, I didn't change the angle uh, I just with the little kickstands that came I just set it uh, at whatever angle that is and then at some point later, uh, I'll worry about <clears throat> potentially changing that angle to get a little more uh, efficiency out of it. Uh, but I'm pleased with, with the way it's working so far, knock on wood. Uh, the beautiful thing is now we'll be able to uh, charge batteries and, and phones and run the lights in the camper. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to run the air conditioner. That might be a little optimistic on my part to be able to run the AC off of that battery. Uh, but I'll give it a try tonight. Uh, like I said, it, before I hook up the generator. Um, so now, there you go. The, the uh, Harbor Freight Thunderbolt uh, Magnum Solar, super easy to set up. I mean, there's really only one way. They make it kind of almost idiot proof that you connect this to this and that to that. And uh, the, the charge controller itself is clearly marked on where things plug in. So the instruction manual is pretty straightforward, uh, except like I was saying, the little arrow was blinking as opposed to the battery looking like it was filling up uh, and we'll, I'll continue to monitor it and see uh, if if that's something else or I'll, I'll try to get on the website when I'm not here at the mountain uh, and see what it is but um, straightforward I hope you enjoyed this review um, hopefully it's going to be short I don't think it'll be very long because I didn't do too much talking um, it's just been a long day it's hotter than Hades so I'm definitely going to need the air conditioner tonight so um, yeah, if you're in the market, I think this is this is the way to go. It's pretty simple. Uh, all the other reviews I read were great. Um, so, and it, you can get it on sale. I think I paid $154 uh, because they were having some kind of 20% off sale or something. Normally, I think it's about $189. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it. So, thanks for coming. Thanks for checking us out. As always, we are truly blessed. I mean, what, what a beautiful day. Sure, it feels like it's 99 degrees, literally, and it's 50% humidity right now. I couldn't ask for any better, except for the boss lady to be here, but she had other plans already, so uh, this is what it is. So, God is good. Remember that. Thanks for checking us out. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that little bell icon over there so when you know, you know when we post new content. And uh, look up here, because I'm going to post a video. It's probably going to be something related to the cabin build, because I need to get back to doing that. And uh, until next time, thanks for coming, and be safe.